Hey folks, how you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome to another video on my channel. Uh, as I'm recording this, it's a Sunday. For those of you who don't follow my channel, this will be coming out on Tuesday. So I'm just about to head out, coming up to 11 o'clock in the morning. I had originally planned to do a 200 kilometer ride today. I don't know where I'm going. I have thought about going to uh, Clayton's Corner at Hawksdale, but I really don't want to be going that far west. Anyway, if you watched yesterday's video, um, it's quite an interesting one. I've got a nifty little tool in my back pocket, which I'm taking along with me today. I'll show you and talk about it a little bit more. And it's going to be a giveaway at some point in this video. Just going through the village of Tetney, through the bends. I think I'm going to head towards Greensby and up over the walls. I've got a feeling it's going to be a very tiring two or three hours. What I'm gonna do when I get to end this road as I go through the Graysby, but it's caught in a state. I don't know what it is. There's a big, huge crime climb in front of me to Wold Newton. I think I'm gonna go, go up there. It's pretty tough. It's used by the local cycling club, Lindsay Roads, as a in their tri time trial season. It's a pretty formidable climb. Seems like a great place to stop and uh, just take a quick look at the bike. So if you're new to the channel, it is my Cube. It's the Agri or Agri Pro. It's done very, very many kilometers or miles. New on the bike today, it's got a 1134 chain. It's been at Lau Cycle Center uh, this week. It's got a new chain on there. Uh, sorry, new cassette, which is a Shimano 105 and a KMC uh, chain on there. It's also had some new brakes fitted. Um, new handlebar tape, new gear cables, and that weekend I also bought a new Garmin, the 530, so I'm looking forward to getting out and riding with it. I uh, also bought this top from a chapeau. Also, I snapped the hanger on a couple of Fridays ago, was out riding, so that's been replaced as well. Told you, quite a big bill. I was planning to go uh, out for an audacious distance today. I say audacious because that's what Audax translates into the English. I must have had about nine or 10 hours sleep in bed today. I just think didn't want to move. I knew it was going to be really windy at four. What am I going to do today? Get on your bike and do something. No goals, no distance, no time constraints. Don't care about the pace. So we're heading towards Market Raisin, which will pretty much be the furthest westerly point. Then I'm going to go Definitely north to Halsham. Well, I think that's probably the best way for me to get over there this morning. Look at that. Wow. That's a glorious day. It's just the wind. Just stopped the other side of uh, West Raisin, Market Raisin, to stop to uh, have a bit of food. Now, I do get a lot of comments and questions in the video about as somebody who does ridiculous miles, what do you eat on the bike? Uh, I've been on Amazon and you know they do that save and subscribe thing. Just subscribe to some quite large flapjacks from a company called PhD. I'm going to test them out, see what they like. But as for today, what I'm eating, Poundland. <laughs> and this one is a skinny raw caramel fudge. Um, in terms of what's in my water bottle, I've got some hi fi powder. I always use that and I've just ordered another tub and again put that on a save and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video so far perhaps you're new to the channel please give it a big thumbs up and if you're enjoying it you know it really really helps to grow the channel if you click that subscribe button as well and click the bell as well if you want the notifications coming up on your phone yeah okay that's that done right my hands are getting cold so again i hope you've been enjoying me being out in this wild weather while well, you're nice and warm in the house just just watching me suffer Gusty. So I'm heading dead north. Winds from the west, direct west. I think that's going to cut across me soon. I don't think it looks like it's going to be a direct hit. There we go, Halsham. All roads into Halsham, all uphill. So it was particularly difficult getting up here. But it's quiet today. I hope it's open. 
the lights are on there's cars in the car park we are open great news <laughs> finally left Clayton's corner waited for about an hour just to have a cup of coffee nice meal what do I have sausage and bacon casserole nice bit of cake a couple of Americanos on the way back beautiful tailwind but as you can see it's been raining very wet I'm just glad I've got some mud guards on I nearly forgot about cycling in hailstone <laughs> feels like my face getting pummeled having checked out the forecast on the rainfall radar online that's it for the rest of the day top of the case to climb on my way back east now oh, hopefully that's the last of the rain it's a little bit more cloudy that direction but it's, I think it might have a name on it still you're probably wondering if you've been watching this far when I'm going to talk about the giveaway as soon as I get down that hill I'll tell you all about it I'll tell you it's been one of those days every time I go through a gap go past the gap in the hedge really paying attention but so far on the way home it's, it's been bliss look at the sky now it's windy just here <laughs> anyway I've made you uh, wait long enough so congratulations well done for making it this far into the video now all I want you to do and to make it a bit more interesting you know I, I'm gonna pick somebody out of the comments so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give away give one tiger glider away I think it's that inhaling it has Arr. anyway if you want to win one of the tiger gliders all you got to do is subscribe to this channel and I will be checking and I want you to stick a comment below but not just any old comment like yeah well done great prize love your channel now what, what are you doing make it a bit more interesting for not just me but for other people a comment i want you to talk about a bad experience uh with having a puncher what's the most i guess memorable punch you've had out on the road i want to know all the juicy information where was you what time of day it was was you by yourself all that all that juicy stuff put it down in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well i will stipulate now this competition is open to anybody who lives in mainland uk uh, if you are interested in the tire glider enough to go ahead and buy it just head over to the tire glider uh, website the links I'll stick it down below this video but if you do live in mainland UK comment down below talk, share that story make sure you subscribe and later this week towards the end of this week pick out a winner so get creative put that story down below and we'll enjoy reading those right I'm watching the sleet and snow and hail fall down as we speak it's getting a bit it's getting a bit iffy I'm gonna get moving Look, my gloves are off. You know what it's like this time of year. You stop for two minutes, and you get bloody cold again. In the time I've been speaking to you, that shower has passed. Oh God, it's snowing. Where well, has definitely gone south. <laughs> God. <laughs> temperature is really plummeted I bet the temperature is not much more freezing now oh, God it's really turned well I can honestly say I wasn't expecting a blizzard <laughs> oh dear me you can probably see it better than I can because I've got these thick shades on which are doing great for uh, protects my eyes but they make it look like night time right now oh god yeah huh. <laughs> I don't know if you can see but but it's literally on the uh, edge of turning to snow in fact there we go it's snowing now huh. soon I can get off here the better